Oh my goodness, you guys, Godzilla vs. Kong, some leaked footage came out, and let's do a little bit of a play-by-play. -play. I wanted to just break down and have a look at this footage, y'all. Let's have a look real quick. Now, I don't think... Now, look, look. Oh my god. Okay, backing up, backing up, backing up real quick. Look at this, y'all. Like, look at that! So, okay, Kong's got the axe. Like, that's pretty damn cool. Okay, I still don't think Kong's got it though, y'all. Like, you gotta let me know. Like, I love this axe look, and I think that it looks really cool, but I don't think Kong's got it. Let's back it up real quick. So, this is allegedly leaked footage. Yo, like, people are saying this might be the finishing blow right here. I don't know. Like, Godzilla might be at an advantage. And then Kong, like, steals the steals a couple hits with that axe. I just don't think that's a definite thing. But, man, the fact that we even get the axe is really tight. Like, I got to admit, I am Team Godzilla all the way. Now, look, I love Godzilla. I've loved Godzilla movies for forever. But, ah, that axe looks super tight. And, man, that'll be his combative weapon against the atomic breath because... I went into this wondering, like, how is Kong going to even stand a chance against Godzilla? This gives him some edge, but I don't know, y'all. What if Godzilla <laughs> just, like, stops and swings his tail around while Kong is midair like this in the air, and Godzilla just turns around, swacks that? Like, that's, that's what I'm saying is just because it looks definitive, does not mean anything and that's where it stops right there in like mid air like it's just like mid air right here like there's enough time for godzilla to just swing that tail around and especially with the atomic breath already activated i don't know if he swings that tail i'm telling y'all i don't i'm totally team godzilla i don't think kong's got this but a lot of us are actually having a consensus here we really think that Godzilla and Kong are gonna have to team up to take down somebody like Mega Ghidorah or Mega Godzilla. I don't know though. I saw a little article floating around on Screen Rant earlier that apparently they're going to actually have a definitive winner this time. I'm thinking it could be Godzilla, y'all. Like, one's a king, one's a god, land versus sea. I don't know, guys. Y'all let me know down in the comments. I know a lot of you guys are Team Kong, and I know some Godzilla fans were seeing this, and it's kind of like, oh my god, like, Kong could win here. I don't think so, though, guys. I don't think it's definite at all. I think that we definitely could see a turn in the fight here, like maybe Godzilla's got the upper hand for a while. He uses the breath. Godzilla brings out the axe, or I'm sorry, Kong brings out the axe, then Godzilla possibly does something to get the upper hand again i don't know guys i don't know i think it's a very fair fight as it stands but y'all please let me know down in the comments what you think who you think is gonna win i think there are definitive reasons for both i mean being in the sea is definitely a benefit but at the same time being king on land also has a big benefit especially since they're fighting on land both sides have an eagle shot, but I'm going Godzilla, you guys. I think the speed of this tail, the atomic breath. I mean, I know we see the axe here about to come down on a crush and blow, but we don't see him use the tail sweep. We don't see him use anything else, possibly using his legs as well. I don't know, guys. I really think Godzilla's got this in the bag, to be honest with you guys. I think it's going with Godzilla. But who knows, maybe they will end up having a tie or just having to interrupt their battle to team up. You all let me know what you think down in the comments and we'll see you next time.